This video uh, is from the present and I'm just back from the future and I'm breaking down exactly how it is that Get Chitter was able to sell uh, five days after launching at South by Southwest. Initially it started off being a small thing where it was a just a rinky-dink Milwaukee based startup. It's a hotbed of startupness. This collection of co-founders, let's call them workers, read a couple of my blog posts and uh, at the time actually they had laid down like a newbie Ugh. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm a newbie at South By. They laid down like five figures to buy an official party. And then when you Googled it, like inside of three, three and a half weeks, couldn't find it. Dark. So we then, what was the first thing that we did that year, 2014? I think we did a, uh, oh, I remember what we did. We did a pre-party in Milwaukee. Uh, which is from a 2011 blog post that I wrote uh, on GigaOM, how to launch at South by Southwest for 880 bucks. So uh, right now it's 2019. This is 2000, so five years ago, so nine years ago. This blog post was written three years prior. Nobody had executed anyway. This guy named uh, Seth Knapp. I know you've heard of him by now, right? But so Seth launches and spends I think fifty two dollars some some pretty significant dollar figure some uh, in 2014 in uh, February which is I know a month before March so he does a launch party a premiere party in Milwaukee and so he read this other post which was uh, anchor plus satellite so basically he decides to try to get all his ROI for the five figure sum for the high beam event which is open bar zero ROI decides to do it in Milwaukee Milwaukee uh, what are the cities Milwaukee Cambridge Chicago San Jose so those cities then funneled into uh, the the anchor event and somehow all of a sudden there's engineered up a huge tidal wave of momentum where it was not only the Monday and wait 2014 Monday was the 10th this is a long time ago so on the 10th that Monday uh, that's an anchor event and on uh, Thursday the 6th that was another anchor event and all uh, the CEO what was his name Seth all he did was pattern replicate what PlanCast did in, I think, 2011. Oh my gosh, I'm turning into one of those, those, those like late 30s dudes who just start quoting years like, oh yeah, back when 2011. Anyway, so Get Chitter was pattern replicating PlanCast. And uh, I know, I'm the guy who sold PlanCast after their founder had written the postmortem and all the VCs had jumped ship. And they're like, oh, my penis is like shrinking and I'm scared because I might lose my LP money. What did I do, okay? Big, swinging, go in and two months after the postmortem was written, we're selling South by using undergrads, and not like businessy undergrads, I'm talking about engineer undergrads. That's actually documented, you've heard of that, you're bored of that. Back to the how we sold Kit Chitter after five days. There's this tidal wave of momentum going, oh, that Thursday, so PlanCast had launched at this party by Austin Tech at Molotov, Brian Minnell, so we decide to uh, grand open Get Chitter using the hashtag Go Get Chitter on that Thursday, which actually precursed the Startup Crawl Table event. So before South by even started, 
we had like five or six events and a couple dozen blog posts. So the Thursday event was there. Friday we did, oh, the Mark Cuban Shark Tank viewing party. Unbelievable. I think it was at Parkside. That was Friday. On Saturday, we're just still in Fuego. I think we did a lunch for some, I can't remember, it was somebody big. We did a big lunch, 